general overview is that we do see transaminitis in patients who are initiating on uh, idelalisib. It's one of the earlier side effects that we see with um, idelalisib. It happens after two to four weeks um, that patients have been on treatment. It is very manageable and is typically reversible. So depending on how high the elevation of the liver enzymes is, patients either pause their treatment or can continue if it's a, a mild elevation. Um, and that, that usually resolves. Occasionally for higher grade transaminitis, patients will receive steroids and holding their uh, idelalisib. But uh, in general, the concept is that it's a very manageable side effect and toxicity and not necessarily dose limiting or treatment limiting. Theoretically, if you didn't stop drug or you didn't do so, intervene, uh, that could cause damage to the liver. Uh, and so patients who have elevation in their liver enzymes uh, need intervention or management potentially, again, depending on how high the elevation of liver enzymes is.